So looking at the weekly chart in sterling dollar, we continue to look at this market going back to that plus 30 year low from October of 2016 and see this market in recovery mode and potentially in the process of putting in a longer term bottom. And so what needs to happen right now is to see some form of a higher low carve out into this latest sharp pullback from the post EU referendum high from April for the next major upside extension and bullish continuation back towards and eventually above that 143 area high. On a short term basis, what needs to happen is to see a break above some key resistance from a couple of weeks back, a high, which came in at 133.15. If we can get back above 133.15, it will encourage the bullish prospect.